If you're looking to sell your home soon, first impressions matter a lot. You hear that, right? So Joseph Ward with Homeward Design is here to share advice on the smartest way to spend your cash in pursuit of curb appeal. Good to have you. Good to be here. We always love to learn from you and pick your expert mind. The exterior of the home, how much does that matter, you think, in the sale or how much you make from that Well, that's sale? a big deal. It's the first impression, right? Yeah. So when someone drives up, they're like, this is lame or this looks cool. <laughs> Instantly, on Instantly. the spot. Yeah. All right, help us then. Painting the exterior is one thing that you should should definitely invest yeah, in. Yeah, a fresh coat of paint. It's good to keep in mind though that to make it look easy on like HTTV, you know what I mean? There's, but the reality, there's, there's like, there's slopping paint up on the wall. So you gotta do it well. <laughs> you just can't see the, you just can't see the issues on TV. No paint slopping. Yeah, so if you're gonna paint your house, do it professionally or do it well yourself. What about the door? Does that make a difference? It does make a difference. A lot of homes don't have, architecturally don't have a focal point. And so that's what painting a door could do or it could reinforce the focal point that you already have. Does that make sense? So when you when you pull up to your home, you got you have to have something for the people to like to focus on. For their eye to go to. To go to. That's that's a design principle and graphic design, architecture, whatever, right? It's like what am I focusing on? So architecturally, if your home doesn't have this focal point at the front door, I thought that's where a color comes in, uh -huh, right? You can put uh -huh. a color on that help. But the right color matters. We know that too. It does. Yes. Any colors to avoid? No. Okay, all right. It, it really depends on what other colors you got going on. Sure, sure. One detail that I, off, I admittedly never look at, but I know it's important and I appreciate the value of the roof, the shingles, the condition yes. of that top, top tier. Yeah, like if you have a good condition, so not only a good condition, but a good color. So let's say it's, say it's at the point where you're like, we need to replace it. Uh -huh. Generally speaking, lighter roofs aren't that good looking on homes. Uh. The darker ones are. You know, like a darker black or charcoal type color. Okay. That's what I would recommend because what that does, it keeps your eye down low on the home and as it gives you a higher contrast off whatever color or tones are on your home. So opt for darker if given the That's choice. what I would do. Yeah. This one surprised me. Wash the windows. That I would have thought like, you actually clean like your just, windows. <laughs> seems like such a small thing, but you say it can pay off? <laughs> it's a huge deal. Okay. It's kind of like, you know, like a diamond. Like you see a diamond that's nice, but if it's not, but if it's kind of cloudy. Yeah. It's still, you don't notice that it's cloudy until you clean it. Aha. Uh -huh. And so when people drive up and they see these windows, they're just they're bright, they're clean, they're reflecting to other things on the windows, I recommend removing the screens. Okay. Because that kind of gives the window kind of a dingy look, if that makes sense. Like, oh, take them out altogether. Take them out. Oh. Because otherwise one will look crystal clear and one will look a little foggy. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't like that look. So take that down. And then the other thing is, during the home sale, I would recommend taking out your blinds from your windows. Removing them too? Yes. That helps on the inside and the out. So if you're on the outside and like this one has blinds, this has shutters, this has curtains, this has nothing. Uh huh. Just clean it all out. <gasps> and so it's just one good cohesive experience. I get it. You've Can got you just little it? sparkly diamonds all over the all front over of your the house. All over the house with this nice door that's a focal point. No cloudy screens, no window treatments to drag your eye down. Right. You are an expert, aren't you? Those are good little I tips. I like to think so. Let's talk about, I like to think so. Let's talk about the yard. What should we really pay attention to? Okay, so this is important. You could have a really ugly house uh -huh. and a yard will Sell <laughs> Are we sure? Because you could have a very good looking house and a bad yard uh, will okay. not sell. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> so you could have an ugly house, meaning like architecture is nothing special, you know what I mean, or uh -huh. colors, or whatever, but you gotta have a great lawn. So if you're not into having a great lawn now, just like you don't care about it, but you're trying to sell it, right. invest in some home, go to the home improvement store, get some fertilizer, get some weed killer, uh -huh. clean it, or hire someone to do it for a month or two while you're selling the house. That makes a difference. That's an investment that will pay off. Absolutely. I always joke about the father of the bride house, you know, in yes. that movie that had the rainbow arcing over it and it was just beautiful. Absolutely. And one day I commented on that. I made a comment around that to a friend who's a builder and he goes, the house itself was not great, but the yard was amazing. Exactly. So to your point, it is. that sold the Especially whole Especially those all white homes. You know, that's like really popular now. I all white. live in an all white home. They look awful without a yard in. We have a yard. <laughs> <laughs> we have a yard. Okay. Uh, you know, it's just like, it's the greenery. It's yeah. the dark, the green, the black, the, the different tones on the white. They're like, that's beautiful. But dress it up. Yeah. You also encourage, and this goes to your point of hiring, maybe some help, some maintenance, but edging can come into yes. play, those crisp lines. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Not edging is like a dude getting a haircut <laughs> and not shaving his neck. <laughs> like I get that you cut it. <laughs> but it still doesn't look good. Oh my gosh, I could listen to your analogies all day. <laughs> Define the planter beds, make sure there's good definition around those flowers. Yes, make sure you know where your planter beds are. And yeah. don't let the yard take over. That's an issue, especially in the older homes, right? Even I say older, 10, 15, you have these massive bushes like yeah. right in front of the house. Big trees are good, uh -huh. so, but if they're against their house, they're bad. So you either, I'd recommend trimming them up okay. instead of pulling them out if yeah. they're trees. If they're just big bushes, pull them out, put in some new fresh ones. It looks like the house is new Come with some on. mulch. People, shave your necks.
I mean, he's saying it over and over again. I told you this so many Listen times. Listen to the man. All right, you are so good at what you do, and you've turned over so many beautiful homes, built them as well. How can we get in touch with you? Uh, HomewardDesign.com and Instagram, Facebook, the usual. It's fun just to look at what you've done. Your work really speaks for itself. So we'll Thank link you. you over to his website from ours. Thank you.